killing each other down there in Mexico. But now with cartels, they're moving north. The story had political messages, it had moral messages. Then it's very current. When you hear the accounts of the real people that have been involved in the drug war on both sides, it brings a seriousness to the story. We had consultants from the DEA, a drug enforcement agent, who gave a lot of great information. There's seven main cartels, and they compose the Federation. And marijuana, grown in big quantities, funds narco-terrorism. Our distribution is international. We provide low-interest startup loans, money laundering services. In return, we take a modest distribution fee. The, the cartel wars are going on uh, as we speak. You read it all the time in the news. There's so much innocence being robbed down there because of the savagery of these cartels. Oh my God. We expect compliance, or else the girl will die very badly. I spoke with a young girl who was kidnapped by the Mexican drug cartel. It was heartbreaking. The cartel people are growing marijuana inside our country. Violence could spill over onto these borders tomorrow. This is to make people aware that it's not really a Mexican problem. It's a problem that we share. They're dangerous and destructive. This is a complete, accurate portrayal of the Baja cartel, and it's coming. It's here. It's happening. Don't mess with these people. Cut off the fingers. Oh,